Morning YouTube, this is Chuck Jones with CNS Mining and Manufacturing in Arizona. I'm doing this video to help out a lot of prospectors who get out on a claim uh, and don't exactly know where they are. They think they're probably on the claim. As you can see in this picture, uh, I show a creek and our claim and their claim. And the P on there is a prospector. If you look at the one here, well, that prospector is on the, the neighbor's claim. Uh, and I've run on to people that are there and they say, well, you know, it's close enough. Um, it's close enough to ours. And that's not really true. Uh, you've got a certain range that you can be maybe there, but you're stealing precious metals from a federal mining claim and it's uh, an offense that can be prosecuted uh, and take your equipment and even take your truck in certain circumstances. And you got the, the prospector that's on the other side here. And he says, well, you know, I've seen a, a claim marker, and so I know I'm not on the neighbor's claim, but I'm on our claim. But the space between him and that claim marker might be very rich ground. And he, he's missing the whole uh, idea of prospecting. Uh, if it's good ground and you don't go on it because you might be too close to the neighbor's claim, uh, you're losing, uh, and you're the one that loses. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go into some uh, GPS units and, and show how to solve this problem. Okay, so this is a solution. There are two Garmin GPS units. Uh, the one I'm currently using is this one. It's a uh, Garmin 64 ST. The one beside it is the E-Trex 10. That's the one I used to use. Uh, they both do the same thing. Very similar in operation. So I want to get into how to set it up and the easy way to find corners on a claim so you know you're on our claim and that you're actually not claim jumping on someone else's. So the first thing we want to discuss is setting it up and that's you've got to get on the right datum. So I'm going to go through this on my uh, my 64, my Garmin 64, not the E-Trex. They're real similar, just a little bit different way to get there. As you can see, I hope, is uh, you have to go into setup. And to do that you just uh, you page through the menu and then uh, all you have to do is hit enter and you will go into that that area so after you uh, go into the system uh, you want to go to the WAS setup W-A-A-S that stands for wide area augmentation system and uh, for our purposes uh, and even if you're using Google Earth you want WGS84 and, and that gets you using the right system for what we do on our maps and uh, if you're in a different system I mean there's there's others um, I can't remember the one that's for Europe uh, it's like IGNOS e -G -N -O -S, and that's a European so you don't want to be in a European setup to do this in Arizona like where I'm at so now you can see on, on mine that I'm set up at the WAS uh, system on the second item down. It's pretty hard to do. I'm trying to hold the <laughs> hold the GPS and hold the camera at the same time. But uh, once that's set up, uh, then we can get out of that and simply hit quit or page, and you can get out of it. And then you're out of your system. Okay. So now that we're out of there, we've got it set to uh, to the WAS system uh, WPS84. Okay. So again, we stay on the uh, on the main menu uh, to get to where we need to go. So uh, you can see I'm on settings. Hope you can see that. It's getting a lot of glare off my window. Uh, I want to go right beside it to the waypoint manager. And I went the wrong way. There we go. And hit enter. Now that takes you into this screen and you can see uh, I've got home listed under my waypoint manager and this is where you enter your waypoints. Um, and all you do is, like our club uh, uh, has a whole packet of all the waypoints and all the corners for all our claims. And so you just input that in any of these lines. I mean, I've, I've got a bunch of the claims in here already. As you can see as my cursor goes down, I've got, I don't know how many in here. They're not all in here, but I put them in as I need them or as I go to them. So... What you need to do then, because uh, we use uh, 
degrees, minutes, and seconds on those, and you just enter it. Like I've, if I hit home here, you'll see right there in the middle, when you hit home, you just put in uh, the north and, and the west uh, unit. So it's 34 degrees, 23 minutes, 20, 288 seconds, and that's all done off of degrees, 360 degrees in a circle. Uh, 60 minutes in, a, uh, in, in 60 seconds so that's all part of the degrees thing and it, it's not that important for you to know it, it I mean it's good to know what it is but um, all you have to do is put these numbers in in your in your GPS and then uh, after you get it in you can just keep arrowing down on and you know some might be slightly different than this one but uh, you can either hit go and you're gonna go to the to this waypoint all right, I'm going to leave mine set. Uh, you saw it before; it was set on home and mayor. So, if you look down here at the bottom, it says go. You just hit enter on that, and I'm, I see I'm already arriving at home, so that was a poor choice. But it will track, and the way it tracks, if you're going there, if you go to the the map, and uh, so you go out and you 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 can see on here. I hope you can see that. It's really dark. You can see where my home is right there to start. Uh, or you can quit that and go to compass now uh, you can start tracking let's see dif distance to that marker is nine feet well and wherever I took this at on my property that's I'm nine feet from that area so there you are and it's as easy as that to find a claim marker if you are uh, out on a claim and you have the coordinates you, you put it in and uh, hit enter then you you track via compass towards where it says to go and it'll tell you how many feet it is to that I mean sometimes it's 400 feet or 300 feet or whatever and you just keep walking that direction look at the marker see if it's the northeast corner or, or the southwest corner whatever corner it is and you can actually from that point, uh, pick up your next claim marker location on the coordinates, plug it in, and shoot it from your GPS. So now you know exactly where you are after you get the second one. You know, you know it's your maybe on the northwest corner, and you need to go to the northeast corner. Well, now you know where it's at. I mean, you can just follow the compass, and it'll take you right to it. So back to our picture, uh, you don't want to be either one of these prospector guys. You don't want to be this one or this one. You don't want to be claim jumping because it will get you in trouble on this one. Here you could be missing gold. So use your GPS, put the coordinates in. I mean, and there's so many other functions on, on the GPS that you can do and, and so many other waypoints and ways you put them in. And different ones will be slightly different, but you just go to the menu, pick up the waypoint manager, put your waypoint in. Uh, hit go or start or wh whichever one your your uh, your machine uses, and after it does that, you go to compass and you just follow the arrow, and it'll take you right there and tell you how close it is or how far it is. So I hope this helped you uh, stay out of trouble on our claims and find more gold. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it, subscribe. See you next time.